celebrating the centenary of the birth of Max Planck researcher Werner Reichardt, the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics has been recognizing his pioneering work in the field of vision science. Reichardt was the founding director of the institute and laid the scientific foundations of computational neuroscience. Companions, as well as early and current scientists of his research field summarized early findings and future directions at a symposium. The idea of the symposium is both to expose the participants to the fascinating history of this research field, as well as to show to them the latest developments in computational neuroscience and machine learning regarding the visual system of insects. The studied physicist Werner Reichardt is commonly known for the Reichardt detector, a circuit model system which explains how the brain tracks motion. Since then, many colleagues have continued what he has established. From the Institute Vision Scientist Li Jiaoping had the opening words followed by a row of presenters who speak for themselves, Kuno Kirschfeld a former director of the founding generation of the Institute, Tommaso Poggio from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Lisa Fink and Alexander Borst from the Max Planck Institute for Biological Intelligence, Srini Vaz Taraga from Howard Hughes Medical Institute, Gwyneth Card from Columbia University, and Johannes Zanker from the Royal Holloway University of London. The symposium has been honoring Reichardt's groundbreaking ideas, but has also been covering new developments in research. I think his approach still remains quite inspirational. It's clear that neuroscience is a really interdisciplinary field and that studying biology has really benefited from the rigor of math and theory. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of that comes um, from his inspiration. Uh, scientifically, it's very stimulating to uh, you know, follow also the new developments and uh, the younger speakers that we invited, as well as the historical talks that cover you know, the history uh, over the past 50, 60 years. It's, it's both very exciting. Learning about the history of biological cybernetics and see like how it develops all these years, and it was very interesting to hear these talks in the morning, and also like learning uh, about like what is the future has to offer to us and what comes next. What comes next will also be decided at the Max Planck campus in Tübingen, Germany, an international hub of fundamental research in the neurosciences, biology, and artificial intelligence.